because they are designed to keep you in that chokehold where you will never ever able to get out. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Paul with Sunset Realty and if this is your first time here and would like to know how to keep more of your own money in your pocket, please subscribe so you don't miss any of our next videos. Okay, today we're talking about why I stopped using my debit card and maybe why you should do. So before we get started, let's get something very clear. Credit card companies are not your friend. They are no business of making money and profit. That's why they spend more on advertising than anyone else. So now this is out of the way, so let's get into it. Number one reason is protection. Let me explain. You see, credit cards fall under the Fair Credit Billing Act, which means if someone would not get a hold of my credit card or my credit card numbers and goes out on a shopping spree and spent thousands of dollars, I'm only liable for a maximum of $50 for unauthorized use on my credit cards. That's because credit cards fall under the Fair Credit Billing Act versus a debit card. Debit cards are regulated by the Electronic Fund Transfers Act. And with a debit card, if you don't report it within the first two days, you may, be, you may be liable for up to $500. And after 60 days, you're liable for the whole thing. In the meantime, your money gets held somewhere where you don't have access to it. And number two reason, have you ever rented a car or go in a hotel somewhere? Using a debit card, the rental company will put between five dollars and $1,500 hold on your account just in case something happened to the car versus a credit card where you don't have to worry about it and most credit cards even covered physical damage but debit cards bring uh, zero protections number three is building credit you cannot build credit with your debit card a debit card is your is the money you already have stored somewhere in the bank that you're using using a credit card will help you building your credit or improve your credit and number four is cashback and rewards I actually recorded this video down in Mexico because half of that trip was paid for by credit card rewards. But the background noise was way too much so I decided not to publish it so I'm recording it over. And watch until the end guys, I'll tell you the top five credit cards with the best offers right now. Okay, let's talk about cashback and rewards. And then again guys, this comes with a big, big warning sign. Remember guys, the only way this works is if you pay in, in full at the end of each billing cycle. If you cannot afford to pay them in full at the end of each billing cycle, keep on using your debit card until you can afford to do so because it's not worth it. They're designed to keep you in debt. As promised, here are the top five credit cards with the best offers right now. Now, this may very well change soon, but as the time of this recording, August 2019, here they are. So the first one is the Capital One Quicksilver Cash Reward. What we like about this card is the 0% APR for the first 15 months and $150 cash when you spend $500 within the first 90 days. And of course, zero annual fee and one and a half percent cash back on every purchase. Next is the CD Double Cash Card. At the time of this recording, the CD Double Cash has no sign on bonus, but you get a zero APR for the next 18 months, 2% cash back on every purchase with no limit and no annual fee. And the 0% APR for 18 months applies on balance transfers also, but it has to be done within the first four months of opening this account. And third is the Chase Freedom Card. What we like about this card is also a zero APR for the first 15 months, $150 sign-on bonus when you spend $500 within the first 90 days. You can earn up to 5% cash back, up to $1,500 each quarter in bonus categories. Fourth is the Discover It Card. This card offers a 0% APR for the first 14 months at the time of this recording, has zero sign-on bonus, you can earn up to 5% cash back, and you can also redeem your rewards at Amazon.com. So, so number five is the Bank of America Cash Reward Credit Card. This card has a zero APR for the first 12 months and a $200 cash reward when you spend $1,000 in the first 90 days. Zero annual fee and you can earn, and you can earn up to 3% cash back on gasoline, shopping, dining, traveling, improvement stores, or 2% on groceries. Are, these are some of the cards with no annual fees, so there's a lot more cards out there, guys. Remember, guys, credit card companies are not your friends. They are designed to keep you with a chokehold around your neck. That's why if you cannot afford to pay them in full at the end of each billing cycle, you should never, never use them. Keep on using your debit card until you can afford to do so. That's their business model to keep you in debt indefinitely. Please let us know if you'd like to see more of this type of videos. And again, guys, as always, a thumbs up will really help us out. Thank you for watching. I'm hoping you're having a beautiful summer with your family. Please don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of our next videos. Peace.